Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit negative and I really hate throwing shade on anyone or anything. It's just not really my vibe. I just wanted to talk to you guys about some products that I've purchased, in my opinion, were a total waste of money. There's not that many products in here, but they've been sitting in this little tub and I thought, why am I holding on to these products? And then, yes, it occurred to me, that's why. So I can tell you guys about it and stop you from going and wasting your money. So that's quite positive, right? If I'm saving you guys a few dollars, let me tell you about these crappy products. Firstly, an eyeshadow palette. It's called the Revlon Color Stay Not Just Nudes. Now, the colors are very pretty. Don't you agree? I mean, they are. They're beautiful. They're just very earthy and very nude, and I'm not a huge eyeshadow person, but I thought if I am going to wear eyeshadow, these colors look really pretty and natural and would probably suit me. Yeah, they're no good. The pigment is just not there, so you're forever trying to build up the color on your eyes, and it's just like applying dust. They are so dusty and powdery. They just don't show up. They're just not interesting. They're just like very black. It's, it's like, this is a palette I would give to a very young girl who has just started out in makeup, has no idea what she's doing, and she can play around with them because really they're not gonna show up on her eyes. So yeah, that's what I think of this palette. So yeah, there goes 25 bucks. Another eyeshadow palette, it's by L'Oreal, and it's called the La Palette Nude. Pretty shades. I mean, why do they put these? They are a total waste of time and money, those brushes. They should give us more product and not include those brushes because they are useless. The colors, again, are really, really gorgeous. I must say this palette doesn't have enough contrast. There are some shades in here that are almost exactly the same. Like these two mattes here are almost exactly the same except they've placed a shimmer shade in the middle to confuse you, but you yeah, know, they're the same shade. And these two shimmers are almost identical as well. I mean, there is a little bit of difference, but not enough contrast. So again, what attracted me to buy this palette was they were nude colors, there were shimmers and mattes, and I thought, yeah, I can start wearing eyeshadow again, but no, same issues. No pigment, very dusty, a lot of kickback when you dig your brush in. I mean, you can apply these wet, you know, just spray a little bit of setting spray on your brushes, but still, the pigment just takes forever to build, and they're just not great eyeshadows in my opinion. And yeah, I think, this one's $25 as well. So $25 for an eyeshadow palette from the drugstore is pretty steep in my opinion. I don't think you should have to pay that much. I think $20 max from the drugstore. Otherwise, invest a little bit more money and just go buy one from Sephora. This one has slightly better packaging than the Revlon one. The mirror is quite nice, very handy. The other one didn't include a mirror, but they aren't good. They really aren't. There goes another 25 bucks. Next up is a cream foundation palette by e.l.f. Now the packaging is stunning. It's gorgeous. It's sleek. It's just very beautiful. It's got a great size mirror. Just gorgeous packaging. And it's very inexpensive. I will put that out there. But this formula is terrible. Unless you have extremely oily skin, this is very drying on the skin. This foundation will show up any texture that you have on your skin, any scarring. It will accentuate large pores. It will show any kind of bum fluff that you have on your face. It will just, it's terrible. Foundation is supposed to make your skin look beautiful. It's supposed to look like your skin, but better. That's the kind of foundation I like. This just says, make my skin look terrible. That's what this foundation does. It's awful. Although it is very inexpensive, it is not worth even $1 in my opinion. So goodbye to that too. Okay, next I wanna talk about the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Now before you attack me for criticizing this product, 
I understand it is a cult favorite. I understand a lot of women love this mascara, but for me, I did not like it. It is so clumpy, guys. I mean, is that what is in now? Clumpy eyelashes? I mean, is that what everyone's wearing? I just don't get it. And not only that, it felt really heavy on my lashes. Usually my Lancome mascaras lift and separate and volumize and make my eyelashes look so like a fan. They're just excellent in my opinion. This one, my eyelashes practically lay flat and that's with an eyelash curler. It flaked and dried up and I did not like this at all. So I'm so glad I bought this in the travel size, which is what I normally do when I want to try out new products in case I don't like them. I haven't spent the full Monty on them, but I think this was still $25 in a travel size. I mean, that's not cheap. I'd much rather wear drugstore mascaras than this one. I did not like it at all. So it's going. Okay, next up is a Models Prefer lipstick. It's an orange color. I can't even read the writing on this packaging, so I have no idea, but I think it's not a matte, but it's not a gloss. It's sort of somewhere in between. I've been looking for a beautiful orange lipstick. It's just the look I want to wear when I'm overseas. It's going to be summer over there, and I just love a beautiful matte orange lipstick. This color just did not work on me. Can you see that? The formula is just really patchy when you apply it. It sort of slips and slides everywhere and then it's really patchy so you're going over and over it to get the pigment out and to get rid of the patches but it just doesn't work. It's just not a good formula at all. It's not drying. It's quite moisturizing. If anything, it's probably very slippery to apply. I don't know. I just didn't like this at all. I mean, when I swatch it on my hand, it's not so bad, but on my lips, it just didn't work for me. And I didn't like the feeling on my lips. I just felt like the longer I wore it, it was sliding and bleeding out into my lip line. And I just did not like this lipstick. So I think it's the first lipstick I've ever bought from this model's preferred brand and probably the last. And finally, I wasn't sure whether to include these. Okay, let me start off by saying they're Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liners. They're gorgeous colors. This one's Nude Whisper and this one's Magnetic Mauve. And they pair back beautifully with my lipsticks. Gorgeous colors, but the formula is not great. It's just very drying. When I apply them on my lips, every single time it snaps. They are retractable. So I always make sure to unscrew, you know, as little product as possible to prevent, you know, them snapping, but still it will snap. Penciling your lips, you're trying to get the right shape and you're moving, you know, different strokes and every time it would just snap. I mean, the color is beautiful as I mentioned, but they are very dry. They don't glide on very easily and they snap. And if you're wasting half the product, then that's definitely a disappointment and a waste of money. And I normally love Maybelline products. I really do. I think they do a fantastic job. I mean, you guys know I'm in love with the Color Tattoo eyeshadow pots. They're like my favorite product from Maybelline and their mascaras are amazing. But these lip liners, not up to scratch. So, sorry Maybelline. Okay, so what's that? 50, 80, 95. 120 it's about a hundred and thirty dollars that I've just thrown in the bin now with a hundred and thirty dollars I could buy some beautiful makeup from Sephora anyway I'll leave it here I think that's enough negative vibes for one video I promise you'll be back with a more upbeat positive video next time thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't already not judging by this video I promise my videos are normally very positive and uplifting and inspiring hopefully so yeah I'll see you in my next one guys bye